What's up, Astro? She's logged to the only channel for your gaming and entertainment. I'm Chris, the Astro's Gamer, and this is Pokemon Crystal for the Game Boy Color. Last time I gave some sort of, like, I guess a filler episode or something. Basically, small announcement, uh, plus a little something that I tried to do for what this episode was supposed to be, but I kind of realized everything kind of fell through the cracks. Um, let's go ahead and get our lineup going on here, just so we can, oh, I forgot I have an Eevee in the party. Alright, so, first off we have Onyx, level 32, holding a quick claw with Rockfield, Strength, Rage, and Screech. Next we have Ibuki to Fira, level 32, with Fly, Pursuit, F Leer, and Fury Attack. Next we have Juvia the Ferali uh, for alligator level 32 with bite scratch cut and surf trippy the hypno level 32 with confusion nightmare hypnosis and shadow ball and last but not least we have surge wifey the peachy level 32 with thunder shock thunder wave dizzy punch and tail whip and the ev is actually not really in our party but i'm going to uh put it in the party um earlier ago Whenever I was trying to do whatever I'm doing, uh, that I was trying to do, I ended up in Goldenrod City where I ended up um, taking Pe uh, Peachy to a grooming service. Because I know grooming raises happiness. So hopefully, hopefully we'll see a Pikachu sometime in, in the near future. See. Oh wait, Bill's PC. I want Bill's PC. We're going to deposit the EV. Oops. All right, so now yeah, that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and oh, I didn't tell you what I'm hoping to do this episode. This episode, I'm hoping on uh, catching a certain Pokemon. What's this, Route 34? Alright, so... I need to head over to Route 35. But basically, the whole deal is... Uh, there's a certain Pokemon that hangs around Whoops, in Route 35, 36, or 37. 37 during the morning, rest of the routes during the morning and day, midday. And I'm going, I'm hoping to be able to catch it. I think this is, is this Route 35? This is Route 35. And apparently there's a little side that I can go through. So while hunting for said Pokemon, I'm going to, I think I need to go south from here to get that item. So while I, actually, here's the Pokemon I'm trying to catch. Oh crap, I forgot to get Pokeballs. Alright, I think there's gonna be a bunch more of those, so. Let me, let me check for the balls. Okay, Great Ball and then two Ultra Balls. I'm going to place Pichu up front. Mostly because we have. Thunder Wave? Yeah, Thunder Wave for Pichu, so we'll be able to paralyze. And Pichu's attacks sometimes do next to nothing to, to some of these Pokemon, so... Like, this Thunder Shock will probably do a lot of damage to Pichu, since it's Stab. The Pichu's attack is very weak. I might have to fight him later. Alright, this is TM04. Let's figure let's find out what this is. Rollout. Basically a mill tank a mill tank attack. <laughs> like an attack for like mill tank. Geodude line. Let's see what this guy wants. Wait, what? What kinds of balls do you use? Excuse me? Wow. 
Why would you ask a woman that? Actually, why would you ask a girl that? Put your Pidgey. Pidgey! Alright, so we're just gonna stab it to death. Oh yeah, and for those of you who don't know what stab is, stab, S-T-A-B, is short for same type attacking bonus. Which is why I said stab it to death, because I use Thundershock, which is stab for, pe for Pichu, since it's electric type. And Thundershock is an electric type attack. And we stabbed PG Yoder to death, too. Well, it's not really to death, though. It's more like to the brink of uh, fainting. Since we're not doing a Nuzlocke, it fainted. We stabbed it until it fainted. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and look for Growlithe again. Cause I don't even I don't even remember how rare these things are. Uh, hmm. I'm sorry, I forgot what I was doing for a second. And Pichu's health is going up still some more. Oh, I forgot to go back to where the groomers are, because since it's a different day, I can go back and uh, groom Pichu some more. Try to max out that happiness so that way next time he levels up he can evolve, hopefully. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> A Jigglypuff? <clears throat> <clears throat> I didn't know there were Jigglypuff in this grass. Let's see what Dizzy Punch does. Oh, it was a critical hit. It's probably level 10, ain't it? Yeah, it's level 10. It's gonna teleport. I just wanna see what, how much Dizzy Punch does. Okay. I can't really attack with any of my Pokemon. I probably could have kept the Eevee in the party just so I can at least weaken it some more. Or, uh, weaken some of the Mons here. Noble. Alright, so Snowball has some... has some bulk to it, I guess. So surely we'll be able to get more XP from it, right? I probably should should not have ran away from that Growlithe, but oh well. It's on this route, so... I just forgot how rare it is. And it seems to be somewhat rare because all I'm seeing now are Jigglypuffs and... Pidgeys, and now we have the Snowball here. That was horrible. That was that was a horrible, horrible note that I tried to sing. All right, while well, Albert appeared. And it teleports. <laughs> it's out. It's, I'm out this. 
Alright, so... As soon as I level up... If this thing evolves... Actually, I'm going to, uh... Camper it more before it levels up. Alright, I'm going to take the chance to go ahead and pamper it a little bit, so that way... It'll probably sh be sure and ready to evolve next time I level up, which is actually pretty soon. And after that, I'll just start running away from battles. Before I fight Price, though, I need to look for a Firestone somewhere. To evolve it into Arcanine. Unless I can buy Firestones and... Okay, I found the right door. I was gonna say, unless I can find Firestone in the mall, which I don't think that's really possible. I think I skipped it. Yes, I skipped it, I think. Okay, this one. I'm the younger and less experienced, less expensive of the two haircut brothers. Sure. Would you search wifey? And last time I had... And last time I had a... His older brother. I had his older brother. Uh, help out with that last time, so... Can't remember what the difference is. I know the younger is... Younger one is less expensive. Get out of the way, buddy. I'm trying to... I'm trying to catch some Pokemon. Okay, so here's the Growlithe right here. Alright, first thing I want to do... Thunder Wave. Wow! That little... So next time I... Huh? Raikou. I was about to say, like, I heard different... I heard different music, so I was like... Okay, it had to be one of the three. And we hadn't gone through the Suicu thing yet, so... It's going to flee. That was kind of crazy. So I can't take the time to throw balls at it. Or I can't take the time to paralyze it. So I'll have to just throw, chuck balls at it every chance I get. Okay, it's Embering now. I guess it was just like a fluke turn one roar or something. Alright, now it's biting. Let's Thunder Wave and see what it does. Because it seemed like it does like Okay, it's fully paralyzed. Seems like it shakes three times and then it just breaks out at the last second. Wonder if paralyzing helps it stay in. It doesn't help any at all. And there's roar, but it failed, thankfully. I don't want to waste ultra balls unless I really have to. Now it's just freaking. The reason I'm going back in because I've noticed that once I exited the route and going back out, Growlithe has been the first encounter, so... Let's see if he's the, uh, the first encounter here. If I can actually get an encounter... 
today is actually the first encounter again. It seems like Growlithe will always be the first encounter if you just got on the route, on this route exactly. Uh, let's, I guess, throw an Ultra Ball. Because the whole time we were using Great Balls, it would shake three times and it leap and then get out of there. And then using the... Would you stop that? But yeah, it now it just shakes three times and leaves, and then whenever, whenever we uh, paralyze it, it shakes one time and he breaks out. Just doesn't make sense. I don't want to freaking. Oh, I don't want to freaking stab it to faint. <laughs> So evidently, just because you got out and then got back in doesn't mean that Growl is going to be the first encounter. What did I spend the first few minutes doing? I don't remember what I spent the first few minutes doing. I think, oh, I battled somebody. And grabbed a TM04, which was rollout, which is basically mill tank smooth. Because it'll do that milk drink. <sighs> I was say, it can't be evening yet. It's 208 here. Now we're just coming across some Pidgeys. I should Dizzy Punch it and see what it does. And I am talking about Growlithe, by the way. <clears throat> what if I do encounter it? First thing to make sure Surge Life you don't level up because if it levels up it might evolve into Pikachu and then possibly damaging it until it slow enough the health will be darn near impossible because Pichu will not have uh, better strength and better HP. I don't really think this works anymore as far as leaving and coming back. But here's the Growlithe. Alright, Dizzy Punch and see what that does. It just kills it. should have tried to catch it again. Alright, there's Growlithe. Ultra Ball right quick. And it does what it always does. At least it's just biting now. For the time being. But we used up all of our Ultra Balls.
it just always does that though it always I probably should use a super potion before I risk fainting beat you is caught. It is a male growl, so I cannot call it Euless. Yeah, I cannot name it Euless because Euless is female from the anime The Asterisk War. I think it's uh, Gakusen Toshi Asterisk in Japan. I can't remember the name of it in Japan, but I know it's called The Asterisk War here in America. So, um... I don't want to name it Natsu because it's not a dragon type Pokemon. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I'm just gonna name it Spice. Screw it. Spice. And then for kissing, kicks and giggles, let's find out whether or not Pichu evolves. Another Growlithe. I probably would have been better off thundershocking it. And there's a burn. Gee dang it. <clears throat> Level 33. There we go. We got an evolution on our hands, people. Congratulations, your Surge Wifey evolved into a Pichu Pikachu. Wow. Agility. We don't need tail whoop anymore. Alright, so that's it for this episode. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and save here. <clears throat> but yeah, we're out of time now. And we filled up a good about 25 minutes worth of um, trying to catch a growl off and then we ended up ending the episode off on a good note with the evolving Pichu into Pichu, Pikachu. So anyway, thank you guys for watching no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how many times that Pokemon will try to just spite you by element of surprise. Gastrous Gamer is always here for you.